monoculture was not only bad for communities, it was bad for the environment. In modern terms, the climate footprint of a typical Western family has more than tripled in 400 years, which means we need to find two more planets or start living more lightly. Well, this is the AGM camp. People have come here from all over the UK to explore what it's going to be like to live in an eco-village. And it's been great. We've had really good meetings. We've had lots of positive feedback. But the most surprising thing to come from this uh, weekend is a sense of community that's just kind of sprung from nowhere. We've had kids' plays, we've had fantastic music, really good food. It's been a really good weekend. A bit like it's still. OK, I'll read the register then. <laughs> When I was 11, I, I got my brother to buy me John Seymour's book of self-sufficiency. When I was 11, that was like my Bible. But I've kind of, you know, I've just lived, I haven't lived that way. You know, I've, I've been working, paying bills, you know, it's been quite a hard struggle uh, with children and all that kind of, it's been quite straight, really, you know. And, um, but this is the, the, I just can't believe this opportunity is... What sort of people are we going to have living there? What sort of houses are they going to be living in? Um, what's going to be... They're supposed to be low impact. Low impact means visual as well as anything else. What sort of visual impact are we going to experience um, if, if this goes ahead? It's the size, basically. The size of the thing is all wrong. It's wrong for the area. Definitely wrong for the area. Hi, I'm Ewan, Ewan Wilson. Uh, we're in Glandour, and I'm speaking to you because I'm a member of the committee which was elected following a meeting recently of people in the village and surrounding area to uh, express their concerns about the Lammas project. The first concern shared by many of the local community is a failure to understand what Lammas hoped to achieve by seeming to put the clock back 500 years as a solution to a 21st century global energy and resource problem. Second uh, is one of the huge impact that there would be on the local area, both as to the local community and as to the environment itself. And finally, I would feel it's the wrong scheme in the wrong place. My name's Dean Braithwaite and I live at uh, Reed Derwent, which is a small farm just outside um, the village of Glandor in West Wales. I've been very interested in the Lammas project, which has been the talk of the village for some weeks now. Um, I think it's really exciting. It's, it will add to the diversity of people living um, around here and what people do. It's true to say that um, the village has been split over the proposal for the eco-village. Um, I think the, the problem is that, that, that people have fixed views on, on what's going to happen and, and they, they're not, some people anyway, are not prepared to listen. It's odd. I feel like I'm living in two worlds here. We've got the community of Glandor, which have a very mixed reaction to what we're trying to do. And then we've got another community here of people who are thinking of living in the Eco Village, which is very enthusiastic and very vibrant and alive. And somehow I'm going to have to bring these two worlds together. And that's a, a very interesting mixing pot. <laughs> 